phosphatidylserine has proven benefits for the treatment of age-related cognitive decline. But is it helpful for younger professionals as well? Well, check out how supplementing PS changed my life. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Greg and I'm a brain hacker creating content that will help you upgrade your brain performance. If this interests you, then subscribe below and join our amazing community. Today we're gonna talk about phosphatidylserine, also called PS. I'm gonna talk about my experience, how supplementing PS changed my life, and I'll also tell you how you can combine it with other nootropics to get the most out of it. So if you're ready, let's just begin. As you may know, phosphatidylserine is a phospholipid that you can find in every cell in the human body. Now people usually supplement it because of two reasons. Either they're slightly older and want to slow down cognitive decline, or they really care about brain health. Of course, there are many other benefits of supplementing PS, which you can learn more about in this video up here. Now, personally, I've been supplementing phosphatidylserine since 2015. However, for most of the time, I was taking it as a part of a more complex nootropic supplement, and I was never really trying it out on its own until recently. I recently decided to test it out on its own and also combine it with a few specific nootropics to see how it can impact my brain performance. What I found out was quite interesting, but before I share this with you, let me tell you how I was taking it. Now, the recommended daily dosage is 100 to 300 milligrams per day. So obviously, I started my test with a lower dosage, about 100 milligrams per day, and I was taking the extract called Sharp PS. Sharp PS is an extract from sunflower lecithin, and it is known as the most effective branded compound, branded version of phosphatidylserine on the market. And you can find 100 milligrams of PS in most nootropic supplements, at least in the high quality supplements. Now, after a couple of days of taking 100 milligrams, I didn't really feel any short-term effects. Then, because of that, I decided to increase the dosage to 300 milligrams, and I was taking it for a couple of more days. I always took it in the morning, and even after taking 300 milligrams for a bit longer, I still didn't really feel any kind of extreme short-term positive effects. At least nothing dramatic was going on. So I continued taking 300 milligrams of PS for a couple of days, and then I decreased the dosage again to 100 milligrams, which I was taking for a couple of weeks, actually. And the longer I was taking phosphatidylserine, the more brain power I actually had. So the short-term effects are kind of a weak, but the longer I was taking it, the more I felt focused, uh, the more control I had over my stress. And what I noticed was also that after a long day, if I was working whole day, I was less fatigued in the end of the day, even though I had a lot of mental uh, work to do, or if I used a lot of mental power, no matter that, I still felt more focused and I felt like I have more brain energy. So yes, definitely, the longer you take phosphatidylserine, the stronger effects you will feel. Um, you'll have more brain power, you'll be more focused, but in terms of memory, Honestly, I didn't notice any difference, even though the studies here are pretty strong. So uh, if you care about your memory, I would also suggest supplementing PS. By the way, guys, do you know how well does your brain work? Go through our free brain assessment link in the description below and get your brain health score. Now, I mentioned that I combined phosphatidylserine with a few other nootropics. Now, I tried it out with panic ginseng, citicoline, I tried it also with rhodiola rosea, I combined it with lion's mane mushroom, and bacopa monieri, and a few other less known nootropics as well. What I want to figure out is, what is the best way to take phosphatidylserine, for what kind of use, and also which are the best nootropics to combine it with. Now, what I noticed was quite interesting. So you can easily combine phosphatidylserine with two kinds of nootropics. Either those that can boost your attention and focus and deliver short-term effects, or with those that can improve your brain power and cognition in the long term and also slow down cognitive decline. Now, after a serious discussion with my team and after a bit more research that I've done, I kind of decided and figured out that it's the best to take phosphatidylserine with nootropics that support your brain health and can improve your cognition in the long term. Because the short-term effects of PS are pretty weak, it's kind of hard to notice them, especially in the beginning, and therefore supplementing phosphatidylserine in the long term uh, with other compounds for long-term cognition is kind of a, the best and the most effective way to take it. I mean, there's a reason why PS is FDA-approved compound for treating cognitive decline, right? 
Because of all the benefits I got from PS, I decided to continue taking it because it's really so potent. But I will stop taking it as a part of my morning brain boosting nootropic stack, but I will add it to my other nootropics that I take for long-term brain support. And yes, phosphatidylserine is one of the nootropics that I simply cannot live without. But which are the other five? Well, watch the next video and find out more. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to follow your inception on Facebook and Instagram and subscribe below. And I hope to see you soon, guys. Take care.